I compared the antenna tuner at the transceiver with the antenna tuner directly at the antenna. Question is, how much difference is there? Is it useful to put the antenna tuner directly at the antenna? My test setup is the following. ICOM 7300 is my transceiver. Diamond SD330 screwdriver antenna, my antenna. Like in the previous video, I used an RF meter for measuring the antenna radiation at the fixed position at about 7 me uh, meter away from the antenna and record the measurement with a video camera. Uh, the meter is quite sensitive. You can see on the RF meter even 1 watt changes on the transceiver. I wrote down the reading of three different power settings, 30, 40 and 50 watts, one time with the bypassed antenna tuner and a resonant antenna with an SWR of about 1.3. Then I lengthened the antenna to an SWR of about 7.6 and tuned that with the tuner. I wrote down the numbers with two different cable lengths. 15 meters and 33 meters. I measured the cable length with the rig expert, by the way. Then I moved the antenna tuner to the antenna. Keep in mind there was still about 2 meter coax between antenna tuner and antenna. I couldn't find a shorter cable. With the antenna tuner outside, I also tested with 15 meter and 33 meter cable between the transceiver and the tuner. Surprisingly, the values with the 33 meter uh, coax were a bit better than with 15 meter. Not sure why. Could be a measurement error. Uh, let's look at the chart from the RF meter readings. So here is, here is the result from the test. Uh, do you see this the chart? Uh, the blue line is, oh, let's go with the axis. The, the x-axis is the, the RF power setting on the ICOM 7300 in watts. And on the y-axis you have the RF meter. Like, get, uh, like I said in the previous video, there is no unit. It doesn't really matter because uh, we are comparing always the same value. This would cancel out anyway. Uh, and we can see I also mentioned it, I think, before. You can see one watt changes from the ICOM 7300 on the RF meter, so this is very sensitive. Uh, the blue line is at the antenna resonant at SWR 1.3. So this has the highest uh, values. We, we got the highest values with, with this. was not uh, so unexpected. should be. Uh, the antenna tuner was bypassed. So this is, there is no antenna tuner uh, and yeah, quite resonant antenna 1.3. Then uh, the brown line here below is, and the green line, this is when the antenna tuner is at the, at the antenna on the outside. I wrote right here is outside, outside and inside. So outside is at the antenna feed point and inside is at the trans, uh, it's feed it from the transceiver. Uh, let's see how much we are losing. Also, yeah, for sure we can see on the on the lines the uh, antenna tuner on the inside is lower. The lines are lower, so we are losing here more than when it's on the outside. And I uh, used here two different cable lengths, of 15 meters and 33 meters. So this is always from the inside to the antenna. So uh, let's compare. 15 meter cable length, this would be this orange line with the antenna tuner at the transceiver. And we're going to the left. Where is the same reading on the RF meter uh, with the antenna tuner outside? Keep in mind there's still two and a half meter between antenna tuner and antenna. Uh, so one watt, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half. Seven, seven and a half. So around seven watts, we are losing. Also seven watts better for the antenna tuner at the at the antenna. And look how much uh, power this is. Seven watts from fifty to forty-three. We are losing zero point six dB. 
let's look if you have uh, for 33 meters uh, this is the, the yellow line the yellow line is here so here is 50 watts we got the reading on the RF meter of 62 so let's go to the left one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so here somewhere 11 12 let's say 12 watts we are losing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 yeah uh, 12 watts this is 38 then so we are losing 1.2 dB so 1.2 dB this is better yeah this is I not want to tell you what to do or something this is uh, my results from this test maybe it helps to judge what you should do or not do uh, I mentioned it before there is a the 33 meter uh, measurement with the antenna tuner outside was a bit better than the 15 meter so this is a little bit strange so I guess this is an error but this, the difference is only the one watt, sometimes less, sometimes a little bit more, so this is not really a lot. So, this is it. So you can see, for sure it's better antenna tuner at the antenna uh, side, but the difference is quite small if you have a, a not so bad cable. By the way, I used this time a joke at the antenna. I think someone mentioned it in the comments uh, on the previous video, so thanks a lot. And I also uh, compared a measurement with the resonant antenna, so no tuner involved. And the, with the choke, I had a little bit higher readings on the RF meter than without the choke. So this is uh, very interesting because yeah, the antenna is quite good matched as a 1.3 and I still get the better reading on the RF meter with the choke than without the choke. So not much but a little bit very interesting so thanks for watching see you next time and please don't subscribe anymore i have 599 subscribers <laughs>